Hello everybody, this is Out of the Box Unboxing and in today's episode I'm going to review for you and test later on Cold, cold Dress Combi Hammer Drill from Parkside, Parkside Performance available in Lille On the beginning my quick judgment I mean so-so I have a mixed feelings and if you want to know why st stay tuned till the end of the video also on the beginning some basic features it's uh, uh, 20 volt, 4 ampere hours, but this 4 uh, ampere hours comes from um, battery. You can change it, you can uh, swap between um, other Parkside uh, 20 volt family. So not only performance, but also the, let's say, so called regular Parkside 20 volts. So it's quite common to have a uh, 20 instead of, uh, oh sorry, not 20, 2 ampere hours instead of 4. Impact energy, 3 joules, impact rate uh, up to 4700 IPMs, no load speed up to 950 RPMs, maximum drill capacity 40, uh, 24 uh, millimeters in concrete and uh, stone, free, 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 um, 13 millimeters in metal and uh, 27 in wood. Accessories included, metal deep stop, I would say, uh, nothing special and uh, as a compared to the regular Parkside uh, 20 volt, uh, uh, what, what you are paying for, I mean what you are paying for, um, I mean what you are paying extra for, it's uh, up to 200 uh, uh, percentage more uh, impact, up to 30 percentage uh, faster work progress up to 100% longer running time but it's I mean mainly due to the battery or only due to the battery and 10 times longer motor life and uh, with this I have a I'm not so sure because um, later on when I will uh, perform a practical test you will be able to, to see how it how it work and it will be stone so quite uh, difficult but it has a three years warranty and regular Parkside has as well three years warranty so 10 times longer motor lifetime for me doesn't make uh, any difference because here and there I have a uh, three years so if it's uh, gonna bro if it's broke I can put it uh, raise a claim so for me paying let's say twice as much as for regular Parkside therefore I'm I'm a little bit septic uh, what else? In general, it's heavy, I would say uh, well made, easy to, to, to handle because everything is uh, well done, well made. Uh, I can switch between modes easily. Okay, slightly this is um, uh, this deep matter is uh, slightly making a, it's, it's uncomfortable. I mean, the it could be a little bit higher, it would be better, but okay, it's not a drama. I can adjust speed here, and this is uh, another thing because it's far away from either your left or right hand, so you need to play, but okay, this is, uh, I think you can live with. Uh, on the plus side, light stays on, but on uh, from the other point of view, it's here okay you can move the handle uh, 90 degrees further but it's something odd uh, I think it could be somewhere here but okay it, it required additional I mean, power supply but this is not so I mean the, the best um, not so noisy Let's move to the practical test and uh, as a summary we'll come back.
Okay, um, you saw how it's performing, so it's 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 up to you what you are going to choose. Uh, I need to double check in the user manual. Uh, is it needed to loop this um, uh, coupling? Because usually uh, you have to, and I think it's also the case here. But uh, I will double check it that. And again, is it worth to pay uh, additional? I mean, twice as much, or near to uh, twice as the regular Parkside? I don't think so. And uh, if you take into consideration that you have a three years warranty here, here and there, for me it's it's quite uh, simple what to what to choose. I'm curious about your opinions. And as always, thank you for watching, stay tuned and see you next time. Bye.